Power Company's Oil Express, TJ's Mini Check, Cajun Country Autoplex, Piku's Drugstore, Sir Landry Homestead Federal Savings Bank, DC Sports Bar and Steakhouse, the City of Eunice, Tri Parish Bank, and by David Robery, a state farm agent. Right now, the voice of Unified Basketball, John Beltran. Johnny? Thank you, King. This game will feature two teams with a tremendous number of athletes. The Woodlawn Panthers are second ranked in Class 4A with a record of 34 wins and three losses. They got to this point in the playoffs by defeating Opelousas in round 1, 72 to 55. Hammond in round 2 by 20, 71 to 51. And Carver by 16, their smallest margin of victory in the playoffs, but a rather sizable one, 81 to 65. They are led by 6'2 junior forward Brandon Dickerson. He's a big three-point specialist. He's averaging 18.7 points a game, as well as six-foot senior guard Kenny Williams, who's averaging 11.3 points a game. Their other guard is averaging exactly that as well. That is a junior guard, 5'10", Barry Whitley. For the Bobcats, they enter this game 24-7. However, with this starting five that they field, all seniors, they are 23-2. They reached to this point in the playoffs with victories over Bolton 65 to 45 in the first round. Bo Shane on the road in Arneville 70 to 68, and at home against Houghton 71 to 65. Incidentally, for Woodlawn, this is their fourth top 28 tournament appearance. They had one state title and two runner-ups in 1993. Their most recent appearance, they finished second after defeating Plaquemine in the semi 63 to 60 they lost to McKinley 41 to 40 in the final now they started out way back in 1965 in class 1a where they beat Buckeye 73 to 60 but lost to Newman in the final I should say defeated Newman in the final 58 to 50 their only state title and sandwiched in between the 65 and 93 appearances they were here in 1971 not in the Cajun Dome but in the top 28 tournament is a member of Class 4A, defeating Booker T. Washington 79-73 and losing to Brother Martin in the final 65-62. So bottom line, every time Woodlawn has made it to the top 28 tournament, they have won their semifinal game. They are 3-0. Getting back to the Bobcats, they are led by three men who average 14 points a game. Harry Frank, Kyrus Bear, and their big sophomore off the bench. Not big in terms of size, only 5-5, but big in terms of contribution, Charles Anderson and he will play a key role tonight for the Bobcats. For the Bobcats, this is their first top 28 appearance ever. They are coached, of course, by Robert Trent Woodlawn as an excellent coach of their own in Kenny Almond. We'll return with more pregame coverage. We will recap all three playoff games for you, and that's following these messages on your home of Eunice Bobcat basketball. This is KJJB Supersports. American Security Bank, the bank with the, of the future is here right now, and you can do your banking at your own home now. Almost anything you can do at the bank, you can now do on your computer any hour of the day, any day, any day of the week. Stop by and speak to any of our courtesy, courtesy, courtesy staff, courtesy staff, it says here, and they will be happy to answer your questions. American Security Bank, to make banking more easy for you and your family. Right now, you can buy get a computer loan for only 8.5% APR. American Security Bank, member FDIC, full housing lender. American Security Bank, solutions, not problems. To say your car still looks good, but it knocks and pings and your engine's getting old, well, all you need is a new solution. Chevron Supreme High Octane with Tecron is formulated to help give your car to perform the way it was designed to perform. In fact, no other gas gives you better performance and lower emissions than Chevron Supreme with Tecron. Express lane on the Crowley Roads where you get it. The express lane, Tecron, Chevron, distributed by Gilroy Oil Company of Unum. Well, are you going fishing, camping on a picnic or a backyard get-together? Your one stop for all your supplies should be CJ's Mini Check, 821 North A Street in Eunice. CJ's has it all, from beer and soft drinks to charcoal and snacks. And while you're at CJ's, play your favorite lottery games. CJ's Mini Check. They have really, really big uh, business there. I don't know what that says on this copy. 821 North A Street in Eunice. Really Bob, big Bobcat supporters, let's put it that way. When you have your doctor's prescription in hand, be glad that Piku's Drugstore is here in town at 250 North 2nd Street. At Piku's, you get expert service at competitive prices, plus the convenience of delivery service to your home. Your Piku's pharmacists, Cooney and Robbie, stand ready with the knowledge and the skill and the skill to fill your doctor's prescription to the letter. Good health to you from Piku's. Those are the ones. Wide open from three. Gary hit. Here comes Roy Guillory into the front court. Guillory left side. Will he pull it for three? Yes, he will. That shot is up and good. Those were the first two baskets by Roy Guillory against the Bolton Bears as they opened up with a 10-0 lead. 
Eunice extended that lead to 12 on this play. Kyrus looked like he was fouled to Harry. Harry slams! After the first, the Bobcats led 20 to 7, thanks to eight points each by Harry Frank and Roy Guillory. In the second, Eunice led by as many as 16, but the Bears went on an 8 to 2 run to reduce it to 10. However, Eunice built it back up to 14 on Pinook's pick. Anderson picks him up. Anderson steals it. Anderson is going to drive all the way. He's going to lay it up. He's going to lay it in. From that point, the Cats were able to increase it just a little bit more and let it the break 33-17. In the third, they picked up where they left off. Bear is going to go all the way. He is going to play. Anderson to Bear on the baseline. His 10-footer is good. Myers, long three-pointer. Good. Anderson will try to dribble it across, jump past to Bear. Bear all the way. He'll lay it up. He'll lay it in. The lead was 22 after three, and Eunice cruised to victory 65-45. to 45. The, cla- the Cats played phenomenal defense, limiting Bolton to just less than 24% shooting while themselves hitting field goals at a 41% clip. Eunice then traveled to Bo Shane, to Arneville, actually, against the Bo Shane Gainers for second-round action, and it was nothing but trouble right from the start of the first. <laughs> That's the way they would end the first on a three-pointer to make it 21-12 Gators. They maintained it at 25-14 for the first minute and a half of the second period until Eunice got very hot with a huge 14 or nothing run to take a three-point lead. Over to Kyron. Kyron's inside to Harry. Harry dribbles. Turns around. Lays it up and in. Guillory can take the three if he wants it. Now he throws it inside to Harry. Harry plays it up and in. Fires to Anderson. Anderson to Frank. Frank to Kyron. Little six-footer. Good. Jet pass over to Abair. Inside to Harry. Harry turns around. Has his foot. Gets it back. Lays it up and in. The Gators would compose themselves, however, by scoring four consecutive points. And with a Harry Frank free throw, the game was tied at 29 at the break. The Bobcats didn't lose a step in the first four minutes of the third and ran out to an 11-point lead. Now to Bertrand. Bertrand left corner baseline. Lean, five-footer, too strong. Rebound Harry. Lays it up and in. Hillary dribbles baseline all the way. This is it to Harry who lays it up. A little finger rolling in. To Myers. Myers inside to Harry. Harry steps. Oh! Frank was the catalyst scoring eight during the 13-2 run. You just heard a basket there by B.J. Thomas because in this game of runs by both teams, it was Bo Shane's turn as they were spotted with one of their own. You heard Thomas's basket. Here's a couple of more. Right to go in the corner inside of Thomas. Thomas Shane, six-footer, too strong. Rebound over to Chavez, lays it up and in. Rebound, Thomas. Thomas, pass up ahead to Gladnigo. Lays it up, lays it in. The 14-2 run propelled Bo Shane to a one-point lead, but Kabaz, Kyrus Hebert's layup gave Eunice the one-point lead at the end of three. The final period saw the team's trade baskets until Eunice scored six consecutive points culminated by this bucket. To Guillory, Guillory in the paint, Guillory all the way, to Kyrus, plays it over When the Cats took a nine-point lead with three and a half minutes remaining, it appeared they would win handily. But in basketball, that's an eternity, and the Gators knew it. Three-pointer up in the air, Go! Daniel Davis's trifecta got the Gators to within striking range, and the game boiled down to the last three seconds when Bo Shane's Walter Davis had a three-pointer spin around and out, and Eunice was able to escape with a 70-68 to victory. Harry Frank led all scorers with 23. Actually, Eunice scores with 23. B.J. Thomas led all scorers with 31. Charles Anderson was huge for the Bobcats. He tallied 22 and was 12 out of 14 from the cherry stripe. Finally, the quarterfinal game versus the Houghton Buccaneers, and this one was very sloppy in the first period. It was nearly even Steven with the Bucks clinging to a two-point lead at 15-13 to after one. But here came Kyrus Hebert and the Bobcats. Hillary now almost with a turnover in the backcourt. Frank picks up the Kyrus. Three-on-two situation. Kyrus down the middle. Lays it up, lays it in. Hillary to Frank. Now to Kyrus. Two-on-two situation. Kyrus all the way. Puts up a little six-foot leaner. Good. And a defensive foul. Rebound tipped in the air. Bertrand has it for Eunice. Nice offensive rebound to Anderson. Three-pointer up in the air. Go on! Harden, however, made a mini run just before halftime, and Eunice's lead was 7 at 31-24. to in the third, Eunice outscored Houghton 20 to 16, thanks to a couple of Derek Myers trifectas and led 51 to 40 going into the fourth and final frame. 
The early moments of the final period proved to be the most prosperous for Eunice, which scored the first eight points. Down, Kyra Sabair has it, loses it, he's got it, up ahead to Myers. Myers all the way, he lays it up, no good. Follow is good by Kyra. Anderson in the corner to Myers. Myers drives baseline, puts up a little shot, good to the first. Anderson knocks it back away, ahead to Myers. Myers ahead of the field, he's got the ball, saves it into himself. Myers now an eight-footer on the left baseline, good. Eunice by 17. Italy strips it away. Anderson 301. Oh, he lays it up again. Although Houghton would twice trim the lead to six, the one-time 19-point Bobcat lead would be too much to overcome, and they were able to cruise on to victory 71 to 65. We'll continue with more pregame coverage. This is state semifinal action. The Eunice Bobcats taking on the Woodlawn Panthers from the Cajun Dome in Lafayette, Louisiana. And you're listening to it exclusively on FM 105.5 KJJB Supersports. St. Landry Homestead Federal Savings Bank has three locations to better serve you. Opelousas, Eunice, and Port Barry. They specialize in residential loans with the lowest interest rates in years. St. Landry Homestead Federal Savings Bank also features consumer loans of all types. St. Landry Homestead Federal Savings Bank of Eunice, Opelousas, and Port Barry. Remember FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. For those of you just joining us, we'll be starting late. The Eunice High game will be starting approximately one hour late because of other games running over. So we'll be back with that in just a moment. D.C. Sports Barns Steakhouse has a great atmosphere and a great reputation for the entire family. Open seven days a week. The steakhouse serves lunch and dinner with a full menu specializing in steaks and seafood, too. They're serving bar crawfish right now. Mm-mm, so good. That's a D.C. Steakhouse where they have leather pocket pool tables, electronic darts, and championship shuffleboard games. D.C. Sports Farm Steakhouse, West Island Town, where Darren appreciates your business, and he has some great food. Now, Miss Lottie takes your chance to right answer gets you, and a wrong answer gets you. Liar. You work for a car dealer who competes with Cajun Country Auto Planks? Yes, I do. Fine, and you sell quality O's, GMC, Pontiac, Chrysler, Dodge, Plymouth, Jeep, or less, just like Cajun Country Auto Planks? That's right. Liar. Uh, uh, maybe try to. Liar, liar. Like Cajun Country Auto Planks, you have a great selection of over 75 vehicles in stock? We do. Liar. Uh, I, I mean, sometimes we do. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Cajun Country Auto Planks, 1700 East Laurel Avenue on Highway 190 in Eunice. What's the best way to heat water and cook in Eunice? The best, the most cost-efficient way to heat and cook in your home is with inexpensive natural gas. Natural gas burns clean and is by far the most popular way to heat and cook in Eunice homes. For further information on the advantages of natural gas in your home or business, contact your favorite heating and cooling contractor. Natural gas in Eunice, it's the natural thing to do. I'm joined by Eunice basketball coach Robert Trent. Coach, congratulations on getting this far all the way to the semifinals in the Cajun Dome. Now, your five starters three months ago played in the championship game of football at the Superdome. Do you feel that that experience will help them here three months later in terms of not necessarily being all of the place they're playing at and can focus strictly on their opponent? Oh, no doubt about it. I think this late in the ball game, you know, you have to depend on your seniors. You have to depend on good leadership. Uh, these same young guys were, like I said, earlier down at the Dome, and the competition was pretty tough, and they almost stepped up to the to the proper level that they were supposed to, to win the ball game. But, you know, they did the best they could. And I think, you know, one more time, an opportunity to go out against the competition again, I think they'll be ready this time. Now, with past teams, you might have said they were very good teams, but not necessarily championship teams. Here you've got the big man, Harry who's an excellent shot blocker and a rebounder, and has got a good post-up game. You've got Kyra Sabair, one of the better athletes, and you have a strong backcourt. Is there any missing piece to the puzzle, or is this championship team material that you have right now? Oh, no doubt. And, you know, I've always felt that we can be competitive with anybody in the state. And, you know, we're in the, we're in the situation now where we have the opportunity to, to prove what I said earlier. Uh, you know, the competition is real good. We're playing the number two uh, ranked team in 4A this year. So I think... You know, if, if we just relax and do the things that we do best, the basic fundamentals of basketball, make free throws, play good defense, and work your offense, I think you can win any ball game that you play. Now, your team has been very proficient offensively. You start the game out with a two-guard set, and then you like to use the three-guard set at times. Do you feel your team is difficult to defend because you show the team different formations and sets? Yeah, well, basically that's basically been our plan all year long is try to mix it up on defense, try to mix it up on offense. Basically, when we go to the three-guard set, the thing we're looking for is a lot of uh, pressure on the basketball or a lot of points on offensive. So it, it works both ways. It brings some intensity into the game, and it gives us an opportunity to let a uh, point guard who's been Roy Gilbert pretty much all year a chance to get to the score in action on the game. Now, because of the threat of Harry Frank down in the low post, teams in the last few games, especially in the playoffs, 
have tried to eliminate your half-court game and have been employing the press constantly. Uh, how do you feel your team has handled this so far, Coach? I think they've done a fine job. You know, we had a couple of little letdowns in the ball game the other night right at the end of the game, but I think that was the mere fact due to all the stopping and going during the game because of the little hazards we had around us, surrounding us because of the wetness of the flow. But I, I think the bottom line is they handled it pretty well. We've have, we haven't had a lot of problems with anybody's press so far this year, so we're hoping we continue the same reign and that we'll be able to break their press also. It seems this press benefits a player like Kyra Saber a lot more than any other player because he's one of your better full-court players. He's not as good of a half-court player. And maybe a guy like Charles Anderson who can beat the press against anybody. Oh, no doubt about it. Charles definitely can go in either style of the game, the slow game, as well as the speed-up game. Kyra's basically is a full-speed person also. He is a slasher, and he likes to work around the uh, basket. He gets the ball up and down the floor real well, and he's a pretty good free-throw shooter. So anytime that you know they're pressing and it opens it up for us, Kyra's is the guy that we want to try to get the ball in in his hands around the basket, definitely. Now, Harry in the playoffs has 11 assists over the three games, and he gets double and triple teamed all the time. It seems that his passing has actually improved this season as opposed to his junior year. Oh, no doubt about it. We worked a lot with Harry being able to do that because we knew that the competition was going to be able to double team him and at times triple team him. So, you know, when you're in that position, there's not very much you can do with the basketball except pass it. So we tried to work on that phase of the game, and it has really gotten better. Now, a couple of criticisms of your team, Coach. Obviously, one is free throw shooting, which is why Charles Anderson is so important. He's shooting over 80% in the playoffs. How about the other guys? Has this been a point of emphasis in practice so far this week or just for the entire season for that matter? Oh, no, definitely. We work on free throws a lot. We tell the guys that you've got to be able to shoot free throws, especially when you're playing on the road because when you go in someone's gym, you're already 10 points down. You're not going to get a whole lot of calls, so when you do get to the free throw line, it's got to be just as important as a meal. So you've got to really concentrate. We spend a lot of time shooting free throws, and sometimes it pays off and sometimes it doesn't, but we're going to continue to shoot them because you never know when you might need them. Now, the other criticism is basically your team is so athletic, it seems they come out with too much energy in the beginning of the game where they commit the majority of their turnovers, and they've been a very good second quarter team so far in the last two games with a consecutive 14 nothing runs and have come out strong in the third and fourth periods. Is there anything you can do as a coach to prevent that sluggish start for your team, Coach? Well, it's rather difficult because, I mean, you know, we have some tremendous athletes out there. We have some intense guys, and, you know, when, you, when you're playing in a big game like that, they have a lot of intensity, and it's just kind of locked up inside of it. It's hard to control, but I, I think we can do some things to kind of tone it down a little bit. You know, um, we got some things in mind that hopefully is going to help us in this ball game. Now, Brandon Dickerson of uh, Woodlawn is averaging nearly 19 points a game. He had a flurry of three-pointers against Carver in their quarterfinal victory. Now, do, would you accept defeat in terms of other teams beating you from the outside? Well, the bottom line is that, you know, we're going to try to play uh, different styles of the game. We're going to put pressure on the basketball uh, as they come up the floor. We're going to put pressure down low. We're going to put pressure on the basketball every turn that they make. Now, the bottom line is going to be up to them to decide where they're going to beat us at. If they're going to... If they're planning on beat us, they're going to have to beat us, you know, doing more than one thing because we're not going to just concentrate on one thing. So it's going to be basically a team effort both ways. Because so far in the playoffs, all these teams have shot over 20, 25 three-pointers and have not been successful, and that's where your team has been able to take advantage of it. No doubt about it. You know, we know we have Harry that's sitting behind us on the inside, so we can afford to put pressure up on the outside also. So we're hoping that we can stop all penetration from everybody, be heads up on defense, and therefore we can take control of the ball game. Coach, finally, uh, the running back of the Denver Broncos, Terrell Davis, said he was looking forward to playing in the playoffs because when he scored, he could you know, start with a salute to his teammates. How do you feel this is, has this motivated your team at all? I don't know. I, I think it's just a little team thing. It's just something that they like to do, and uh, they, they together on it, uh, whatever it really means to them. I'm not sure, but you know, if that's what it takes to keep them together and working together as a team, well, then it's perfectly all right with me. Coach, everybody around here is proud of you and your ball club. Good luck in the playoffs. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And when we return, we'll take a look at results from games played earlier in this tournament, and that's following these messages on your home of Eunice Bobcat basketball. This is KJJB Supersport. It's very smart. It's 99 smart cents checking, and it's only a tri parish bank. What do you get for 99 cents a month? The first 50 duplicate checks, unlimited check writing privileges, no monthly minimum balance required. The canceled checks are held in safekeeping and a free tri parish bank access 24. That's right. All this for 99 cents a month. It's 99 smart cents checking, but only a tri parish bank member FDIC. Retirement earnings are a federal income tax uh, free? No, no. This isn't a dream. It's true. It's reality with the State Farm Roth Individual Retirement Annuity. 
C State Farm Agent David Robery, Brother Dave, at 620 West Maple for the details on the saving opportunity. That's right. You can withdraw your earnings, federal income tax-free, after five years at the age 59 and a half. So what other reason do you want to see? That's the all-new federal income tax plan now available at State Farm. It's the State Farm Roth Individual Retirement Annuity. Want to hear more how you can save money on taxes? Contact David Robery at 620 West Maple right here in town. You're a State Farm agent. Hey, guess what, folks? The bank of the future is here, and now you can do your banking from your own home. Almost anything you can do at the bank, you can do now at your computer any hour of the day or night. Stop by and speak to any one of our courteous staff members. They'll be happy to answer your questions. They want to make banking with you as convenient as possible. Computer loans, only 8.5% APR. American Security Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. American Security Bank, solutions, not problems. You say your car still looks new, but the docks and pings in your engine really are getting old. Well, what do you need? A new solution. Chevron Supreme High Octane with Tecron, which is formulated to help your car perform the way it was designed. In fact, no other gas gives better performance and lower emissions than Chevron Supreme with Tecron. Check it out. The express lane on the Crowley Road, Chevron. Distributed by Guillory Oil Company of Eunice. Earlier today in Class 2A semifinal action, Cushada defeated Bernard, St. Bernard that is, 73 to 67, and in a very high-scoring game, the highest one of the tournament, it was 35 and 11. Now 36 and 11, Chatham over 40, and now four, Lacassine 104 to 91. And in the game played just before ours right here, Parkview Baptist easily embarrassing St. Louis 90 to 55. And after this game, St. Thomas Moore will take on Allender to fill the other Class 4A spot. Yesterday in Class 1A. Southern Lab routed Grambling 94-48. to However, the other two games were extremely close. As a matter of fact, they both went to the extra session. In Class 2A, Patterson defeated St. Frederick 83-79. to And Rayville in Class 3A succumbed to defeat to the Washington Marion Indians, who last year were a member of Class 4A. That score was 67-58. to On Monday, three games were played. Two in Class C, one in Class 1A. Pineview. Defeated Athens by 11 points, 76 to 65. And in a barn burner, Jehovah Jireh over Summerfield, 41 to 40. And then in the nightcap, Dunham by 14 over Newellton, 69 to 55. Now here's the lineup for the next three days. Tomorrow, the Class B final will pit Gibson Coleman versus Mount Hermon. Actually, that's a that's a Class B semifinal. The winner of that game will face Chatham. We'll talk about that in just a second. And then the two Class 5A semifinals, Fair Park at 34-4 and four will take on 28-4 and four Slidell. That game is slated to start at 6.30. Of course, ours was slated to start at 6.30. It is now 7.17, and this game should be beginning in a matter of three to four minutes. The other Class 5A semifinal pits South Lafouche at 32-5, and five, taking on the Spartans of Salmon at 24-7. and seven. That game scheduled to start at 8 o'clock. Of course, Salmon last year was a team that knocked out the Eunice Bobcats out of the playoffs when they were a member of Class 4A. On Friday, two final games in Class 1A. It'll be Dunham versus Southern Lab, scheduled to start at 7 o'clock. And then, 15 minutes after the completion of that game, Cachada will take on Patterson in a Class 2A final. On Saturday, the Class C final is the first game played of five, Pineview versus Jehovah Jireh. Then in Class B, what I mentioned earlier, Chatham versus the winner of Gibson Coleman and Mount Hermon. And the Class 3A final will pit Washington Marion versus Parkview Baptist. And if Parkview Baptist plays in that game like they did earlier tonight, they should be able to win easily. They looked awesome, but Washington Marion is the number one ranked team in the state of Louisiana in Class 3A. The Class 4A final will be played at 7 o'clock, and Class 5A will be played at 8.30. There's been plenty of Acadiana participation here in the top 28 tournament. Let's take a look at some of the teams who have made it that far. Most recently, last year, these guys really have a rivalry. Parkview Baptist and Rain. Parkview Baptist, by the way, knocked out Rain 60-52 to in quarterfinal action. Last year, Parkview knocked them out in the semis here in Class 3A, 72-62. to Two years ago was Parkview Baptist in another semifinal in a barn burner by two points over Rain, 82-80. to The other semifinal, actually not in 3A, but in 4A, Leesville, over St. Thomas Moore, 76 to 74 in overtime in 1995. However, the Rain Wolves were a winner in this tournament, defeating Bozier in the semifinals, 69 to 59, and McCall, 62 to 49. 
in the finals. Other teams out of Acadiana to participate as were less than a minute away from the announcement of the starting lineups. Opelousas was in here in 1994 as well as Turling's Catholic. Mamu has made one appearance. Fort Berry's been in there. Bo Shane. St. Thomas Moore's made several. But the first team, the trendsetter for the top 28 in terms of teams participating was Lafayette. Lafayette High was in here in 1963, 66, 69, and 76. And then, of course, other teams started to make it here, most late, namely Opelousas Catholic, Crowley, Notre Dame, and other teams that I mentioned that reside in Acadiana. We're just about set for the starting lineups for both the Woodlawn Panthers and the Eunice Bobcats. Let's go to the public address announcer.
the Minery Homestead Federal Savings Bank has three locations to better serve you. Opelousas, Unis, and Fort Berry. They specialize in residential loans with the lowest interest rates in many years. St. Landry Homestead Federal Savings Bank also features consumer loans of all types. St. Landry Homestead Federal Savings Bank of Eunice, Opelousas, and Fort Berry. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. D.C. Sports Bar and Steakhouse has a great atmosphere for the entire family. Open seven days a week, the steakhouse serves lunch and dinner with a full menu specializing in steaks and seafood. The banquet room is available for private parties and special occasions. Ladies, while you're dining for lunch, you can even enjoy your favorite shows with a private TV table. The sports bar has big screen TVs for viewing your favorite sporting events. D.C. Sports Bar and Steakhouse, I love it over there. Wes Lowell and Eunice, do yourself a favor. Visit them soon. Let's recap the starters for both teams. The guards for Woodlawn are Barry Whitley and Kenny Williams. The center's Tyrone Byers, and the forwards are Chris West and Brandon Dickerson. For Eunice, the center, Harry Frank, the forwards, Tyrus Abraham, Brennan Bertrand, and the guards are Roy Gillery and Derek Myers. And now to jump center, number 55, Frank, and number 50, Byers. This is for one spot in the Class 4A Finals. The tip controlled by Woodlawn. Into the front court is Woodley. Woodley guarded by Guillory right side over to Williams. Williams top of the three-point circle to Whitley. In the paint to Dickerson. Dickerson fakes, puts it up, his shot off the glass is good. He's the leading scorer on this team, averaging 18-7 a game. Applying the backcourt presses Woodlawn, but Eunice breaks it into the front court with Derek Myers. Knocked out of bounds by Whitley. Eunice retains possession. Far side, three-quarters court with Guillory to throw it in. 28 seconds into the game, it's 2 to nothing. Woodlawn. Guillory to Myers. Myers overhead pass to Kyrus Hebert. Hebert moving the lane, backs it out to Brennan. He loses the ball. Myers has the ball. Now it's taken away by number 22. That is Williams, and Eunice has committed their first turnover. Woodley beyond the three-point circle on the left wing. Picks up his dribble, bounces it over to Williams. Williams back over to Whitley. In the corner to Dickerson. He's being guarded inside to Byers. Now to West, pass tipped away, Myers has it. Now picked up by Hebert, Hebert to Frank. Frank all the way, stripped by Whitley. Excellent play. Whitley with a three on three, left wing. Whitley pulls up, three-pointer, good. The mark of two is right hook was on the line for Barry Whitley, it's four to nothing. Myers to Guillory to Frank in the backcourt. Frank double team, gets it to Myers. He's into the front court. Myers, alley-oop to Kyrus, and he lost the ball, he couldn't find it. Either that pass wasn't high enough, or Kyra simply lost concentration, but for Eunice, that's their third turnover, and it's getting rather dangerous in the early going. The Bobcats, as we've noted in past games, are not a first-period team, at least not a good one. But they'll have to stay close here against the 34-3 Woodlawn Panthers. Williams top of the three-point circle, bounces it to Woodley, back to Williams. Williams towards the free throw line out of Dickerson. Dickerson leans, backs it out to Williams. They'll put an 18-footer up in the air, no good. The rebound, Harry Frank. Harry gets it to Roy Guillory. Guillory will dribble it into the front court. Approaching the six minute mark of the first unit still hasn't scored to Brennan. Brennan in the lane, 14 footers up short and the rebound tipped around. Byers controls it for Woodlawn, over to Whitley. Whitley between the legs, backs it out to Dickerson. Dickerson inside to Byers, he slams it home. Slammed by Byers and it's six to nothing. Frank to Guillory in the front court. Eunice needs a bucket here. Guillory free throw line. Guillory, 12-foot leaner. Off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound, Brennan. Brennan stripped away. Taken away by Barry Whitley. Whitley drives by Guillory. Now by Myers. Backs it out. Three-pointer by Dickerson in the air. No good. Deep. Rebound, Hebert. Hebert, outlet to Myers ahead of the field. Myers has got it. Myers all the way. He is blocked for the foul. The foul on number 34, Chris West. And apparently Byers stepped on West. And the Woodlawn bench was not happy about that, but nonetheless, Byers was over the line. But I can remind you of a couple of sponsors we have up here from the uh, Gatorade Classic up here. Gatorade, Barton is the official game ball, and Coca-Cola is the official soda water of the tournament. First Co Co Commerce Corporation and Family Banks also are the big sponsors. Myers' first free throw is up in the air, and that's well short. The Bobcats look a little bit tight so far. Myers bending the knees. He shoots. That one looks better. It is. It's 6-1. to one. 
Myers with the first point in top 28 history for the Eunice Bobcats. With a basketball is Dickerson. Over to Williams. Williams left wing to west of the free throw line. Back out to Whitley. Three-pointer up in the air and good. You can't leave that guy open. Barry Whitley averaging nearly 12 a game. He's got five. Myers in the front court. Myers from three-point range will pull up. His shot is up and short. Rebound Harry Frank. He throws it off of Myers out of bounds. That was a good move by Harry. Well, his right foot was nearly on the baseline, and he was falling out of bounds, so he really had no option but to do that. Eunice trails 9-1 to one here, 4.54 to go in the first. Guillory pats the basketball, looking to throw it into Big Harry. Harry's got it. Over to Guillory. Guillory, 12-foot baseliner, short. Rebound, Frank. Frank, back out to Guillory. Guillory looking to Frank. He'll put up a three-pointer. That is deep. Rebound, tipped up several times. Knocked out of bounds by a Woodlawn player. Kenny Williams couldn't control it. Eunice will have another opportunity. And so far, shooting poorly. To throw it in is Guillory. To Myers. Myers in the corner. Drives baseline. Leans into Brennan. He can't handle it. Taken away by Dickerson. Two on three. Dickerson to Myers all the way. He is blocked by Harry with a foul. And Harry didn't like that one. Looked like he got off ball, but that's his first foul of the game. They called it on the wrist. Some other sponsors of this big top 28 tournament. Sports Cat Louisiana, New Smash Photography, Reebok, and the Piccadilly Cafeterias of, of this South. So far, Woodlawn is shooting 67% from the field. Eunice is 0 out of 6. And at the line is Tyrone Byers. 9-1. First rate though up in the air, in and out. Byers on the season, averaging 8.5 points a game. He can give his team a 9-point lead. That free throw is up. That free throw is off the back of the rim. Rebound tipped around. The smallest man on the court had it, Charles Anderson, but he loses it to Whitley. That one hurts. Whitley to Williams. Williams back to Whitley in the corner to West. West will fake in the lane. Pass inside to Dickerson. He fakes. Puts it in. Little three-footer. He got Harry Frank up in the air, and Dickerson's got four points. 11-1, Woodlaw. Myers into the front court. We're at the 412 mark of the first to Abair. Abair free throw line, 12 footer up in the air and good. Iris Abair has his first shot go in. They needed that one badly. Eunice trails 11 to 3. Under four minutes to go in the first. Williams with the basketball bounces right side to Whitley. Whitley looking to West in the free throw lane, but he won't get it to him. Out to Williams. Williams back out to Whitley. In the paint to Dickerson, 12 footer good. You can't leave the man wide open. Dickerson is one of the best shooters in the state. And Woodlawn has reclaimed a 10-point lead. Anderson in the front court, back out to Guillory. Inside to Harry. Harry turns around. Harry will lay it up, and he's fouled from behind by Chris West, it appeared. For West, that's his second foul. 13-3, Woodlawn on top in the first period. At the Cajun Norman Lafayette for the right to play at the title game Saturday night. Harry Frank this year is shooting free throws at about a 50% clip, but has improved in a playoff, and he makes his first one. Harry looking to double that total. It's up in the air, and that's good. Nothing but string. 13-5, Woodlawn leads. Eunice obviously still within striking range. It's very early in the game. Williams into the front court. Myers all over him. Over to Dickerson. Dickerson guarded by Bear to Byers. Byers about 20 feet away. Over to Williams. Williams beyond the three-point line to West. West fakes in the lane. Backs it out to Byers. 15-footer up and short. Rebound high in the air is Charles Anderson. Anderson into the front court. Over to Harry. Harry all the way. Harry will lay it up and be blocked. But a foul on number 50, Tyrone Byers, and going to the line again is Harry. Thirteen foul for Woodlawn. 13-5. The Panthers lead the Cats in the first period. Substitution for Woodlawn. Kyle Gaines is into the game. He's a six-foot senior. Harry's first free throw hits the lip of the rim and has enough English to bounce through. He's three out of three from the strike. Second one up in the air. And it's no good. Rebound tipped around and controlled by Woodlawn. Into the front court, guarded by Anderson, is Barry Whitley. Whitley picks up his dribble over to Byers. 
Byers looking for a man inside. He's got it to Williams. Turns around, lays it up, blocked by Harry. However, Barry Whitley, the alert man, is there with the follow, and he scores. He's got seven, 15 to six. Byers to Harry. Harry will lay it up. He will lay it in, and he's fouled. He is fouled by Kyron Byers a second. Fifteen innings, the Panthers lead, but the Cats are getting warm, Johnny. Absolutely, 14 foul, and Byers might be going to the bench to join Chris West, who also has two fouls. Harry's free throw up in the air. That's a beauty. Harry's four out of five, six points in the game. And the Bobcats, who once trailed by ten, have now cut it to six. It's 15 to nine, two and a half to go in the first. Williams to Gaines. Gaines top of the three-point circle. Right wing to Whitley. Inside pass knocked away by Kyra Saber, out of bounds, retaining possession of Woodlawn. As we mentioned earlier, the Bobcats are a second half team, so they just need to stay close here in the first. Williams to throw it in in the corner to Dickerson. Dickerson drives, 12 footers up and in. Deadly. Brandon Dickerson got eight points in the game, backboard pressure. Harry with the basketball. Harry looking for a guard. He's got it to Guillory, but still not across the timeline. Now to Anderson. Anderson will dribble it past midcourt to Guillory. Guillory gets a pick from Hebert. Dribbles baseline, drives, four-foot leaner. And apparently he stepped on the baseline. Forget the shot. Turnover for Eunice gives the ball to Woodlawn. It's 17-9 Panthers. We're under two minutes of the first. Into the front court is Whitley. Whitley with a basketball, swings it over to Dickerson. Dickerson, top of the three-point circle of Gaines. Now to Whitley, inside to Byers. Turns around, a shot over Harry's, nowhere close. Rebound, Guillory, looking for a man. Guillory will dribble it into the front court. Guillory, straight away. Still with a basketball to Anderson. Inside to Harry. Harry dribbles. Now the ball is loose and a foul. And the foul is on Harry. That's his second. That hurts. 17-9, the Panthers are up over the Cats, leading moment to the first period. Well, Harry is three inches taller than any other man in the court, and to put the ball on the floor is simply a sin, a basketball sin on Harry's part. Let's hope that he doesn't get into further foul trouble here. He's got two, and he might have to be taken out of the ball game. Whitley over to Williams. Williams guarded by Myers to Dickerson. Guillory's right on him. Gaines in the corner to Byers. Over to Williams. Williams takes on Myers. Pulls up a 16-footer for the left wing. Is good. Oh, these guys are good the outside those jump shots. Kenny Williams with his first two is 19 to nine, and now a turnover by the Bobcats. Gives the ball over to Woodlawn. Ben and Bertrand coming into the game for Harry. Brennan will have to assert himself inside. Now the Bobcats, of course, in the playoffs, gave up 21 points to Bo Shane. Looked like a walk by Dickerson. No call. He puts up a shot that's short. Strong side rebound by Gillery. Gillery to Anderson. Anderson with a two-on-two -two situation. He spins. He drives. He shoots. He's blocked. But a foul on Brandon Dickerson. And if you can get that guy in foul trouble, you're in business because he's the leading scorer on this team and one of the leading scorers in the state. 15 foul for Woodlawn. At the line is Charles Anderson, the leading free throw shooter for the Bobcats on the season in the playoff, shooting over 80%. His first free throw is up in the air, and that is short. Checking into the game again is Chris West. He replaces Tyrone Byers. He will fill the center position. 19-9, 59.4 seconds to go in the first. Second free throw up in the air. He makes it. Spun around a couple of times, but it went in. 19-10. Whitley guarded by Anderson into the front court. Stolen by Charles. Charles is going to drive all the way. He's going to lay it up. He is blocked. Rebound, Whitley. What a defensive play by Whitley. Into the front court. He's got a four-on-four -four situation. Backs it out to Williams. Williams between his legs. In the lane. Pass to Gaines. Knocked away. Who's got the ball? Out of bounds off of Gaines. Eunice will have the basketball. That was a wild sequence from one end to the other. But the Bobcats got the better of it defensively, although Charles couldn't make that layup. But credit Barry Whitley with an excellent defensive play. 36.8 to go in the first. And Brennan Bertrand in the backcourt with a basketball over to Myers. Myers to Guillory. Guillory swings it to Anderson. Bobcats have set up their offense. Anderson pick from Hebert. Dry space line. Puts it up. And an offensive foul. He bodied himself over. 21 to 10 on KJJB Supersports. What's the best way to heat water and cook in your home? The best way to heat your home? 
in Unisys Natural Gas. Natural gas burns clean and is by far the most popular way to heat and cook in the Unis area. Further information on the advantages of natural gas in your home or business, contact your favorite heating and cooling contractor. Natural gas in Unis is the natural thing to do. It's very smart. What is it? It's 99 smart cents checking, and it's only at Tri Parish Bank. What do you get for 99 cents a month? Your first 50 duplicate checks. Unlimited check writing privileges. No monthly minimum balance requirement. Your canceled checks are held in safekeeping. Free Tri Parish Bank access 24 usage in a detailed monthly statement. All this, folks, not for five or six dollars. 99 cents a month. It's 99 smart cents checking at Tri Parish Bank. Member FDIC. We've been requested by the LHSAA to give spots, uh, to give, uh, I should say, plugs or mentions to the sponsors of this huge basketball tournament in Lafayette. Gatorade, Biden, the official game ball, Louisiana Coca-Cola Bottlers, First Commerce Corporation of Family Banks, Sports Camp Louisiana, Muse Mesh Photography, Reebok, the official shoe of the LHSAA, and Piccadilly Cafeteria. Thank you, guys. We appreciate your support of the LHSAA. Nothing new for Eunice in the first period. They have struggled in the playoffs. They committed eight turnovers, were just two out of nine from the field. Meanwhile, Woodlawn took better care of the basketball, committing just three, and they were 10 out of 16 from the field, 62.5%. Gallery to throw it in as Eunice will have possession of the basketball first. Far side midcourt. Gallery, Myers, Anderson, Bertrand, and Bear for Eunice. A bear with the basketball. He's going to drive, strip from behind, out of bounds off of Anderson, who tried to pick up the loose ball. Turnover number nine for Eunice. Barry Whitley, Chris West, Kyle Gaines, Williams, and Dickerson. In the corners, Williams. His long shot is up, no good. Strong side rebound by Kyra A bear over to Anderson. Anderson to Guillory. He dribbles it into the front court straight away. Guillory to the free throw line in the paint. Backs it out to Anderson. Anderson to Myers, top of the three-point circle. Over to Anderson, left wing. Anderson will hand it off to Roy. Setting up the offense is the Eunice Bobcats. Guillory gets a pick from Brennan. Over to Anderson. Anderson to the corner to Roy. Won't drive baseline, but a pull up from 18. His shot is no good. Rebound, Brennan Bertrand, alert play, nearly walked but he maintained his feet. Myers' long shot is up. Air ball. Rebound tipped around and taken by Byers. Make it Dickerson of Woodlawn. Yeah. Officials in the game tonight are Chuck Horn, Ron Harris, and Gary Allen. Doing a commendable job. Bobcats need to pick it up right now. Inside pass of beauty from Dickerson to Williams. He feeds them for two. And Eunice now trails by 13. Timeout, 6.51 to go. Second period. Woodlawn 23, Eunice 10 on KJJB Supersport. Retirement earnings that are really federal income tax free? No, this is not a dream, it's a reality with a State Farm Roth individual retirement annuity. See State Farm and agent, uh, State Farm agent David Robery at 620 West Maple Avenue for details of this savings opportunity. With the Roth IRA, you can withdraw your earnings federal income tax free after five years at age 59 and a half. What other plan allows you this kind of flexibility? See State Farm Agent David Robery at 620 West Maple Avenue. And if you have a good driving record, get your car insurance from State Farm and save some cash. State Farm Insurance, David Robery. Two good names to know. Okay, sir, on this line, you take your chance. The right answer gets you, and a wrong answer gets you. Liar. You work for a car dealer who competes with Cajun Country Auto Parts? Yes, I do. Fine, and you sell quality O's, GMC, Pontiac, Chrysler, Dodge, Plymouth, Jeep, for less, just like Cajun Country Auto Plex? That's right. Liar. Uh, maybe try to. Liar, liar. Like Cajun Country Auto Plex, you have a great selection of over 75 vehicles in stock? We do. Liar. Uh, I mean, sometimes we do. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Cajun Country Auto Plex, 1700 East Laurel Avenue on Highway 190 in Eunice. We're back at the Cajun Dome in Lafayette, state semifinal action, where the Bobcats trail 23-10. With 6.45 to go in the second, Roy Guillory into the front court to Charles Anderson. Anderson near the timeline. Chest pass to Bear. inside pass, knocked away. Another Bobcat turnover, that's number 10. Barry Whitley over to Williams. Williams left wing, drives, scoops, makes it. Unimpeded to the basket was Kenny Williams. He's got six points, and the lead is now 15. 25 to 10, Woodlawn leading. Roy Guillory, inside to Brennan. Brennan lays it up and in. Excellent assist from Guillory. And Brennan Bertrand went strong to the basket. It's 25-12. Nice soft touch by Brennan. Whitley into the front court. Jump pass to Dickerson. 
Dickerson backs it out to Whitley, wide open from three, but he won't shoot it to West. West inside to Dickerson. He fakes up and under move, lays it up and in. The Bobcats are not fronting Dickerson, and he is making them pay. He's got 12 in the first already. 27 12, excuse me, John. Guillory into the front court. He's guarded by Gaines. Guillory drives baseline. Guillory fakes into Brennan. He lays it up. He's fouled. 17 foul. Let's see if that was Barry Whitley committing it. The referee signals a one and a zero, and that is Barry Whitley. That is number two on him, so three of the starters have two fouls, and perhaps that's the best way for the Bobcats to get back into this ballgame by drawing fouls on this team and putting these players on the bench and forcing head coach Kenny Allman to use some reserves. But the Bobcats have to convert at the free throw line, and Brennan does it right there. He hits his first. He's got three in the game. 27-13, the Panthers are up on top in the second period. Eunice so far has shot 10 free throws and has made seven. So they've been impressive from the charity stripe. Harry's back in the ball game. Second free throw up in the air. That is inside the basket. A leaner. He got the roll. 27-14. Kenny Williams, left wing, guarded by Anderson, over to West. West will put up a 20-footer straight away, no good. However, the rebound oh. by number 12, Kyle Gaines, and he puts it up from 10 feet and in. Now Anderson, long pass from Gillow. He drives all the way, lays it up, and in, and a foul! And the foul, I believe that was number 22, Kenny Williams, and it was. And Charles Anderson has his second and third points of the game. Team foul number eight. Kenny Williams with his first. Anderson from the line. He eyes. He shoots. He misses. In and out. Rebound over to West. Williams in the front court. 29-16 approaching the five-minute mark. Williams beyond the three-point circle of Dickerson. Chest pass to West in the right corner. Fakes on Harry. Now Williams. Williams free throw line. Cross court to the Gaines. Gaines in the lane. Now right side backing in on his man. Shot no good. Rebound Anderson. That shot put up by number 20 of Woodlawn. Up ahead, Brennan lays it up. Blocked out of bounds by West. Number 20, Liddell Tolston was the man who put up that shot. Bobcats retain possession of the basketball with 4.48 to go in the second. Gillery to throw it in. He passed the basketball. Brennan, Brennan in the lane. Spins, turns around. His four-footer's good. Brennan Bertrand, he's got six points to match Harry Franks. Well, Brennan has asserted himself. Once again with a soft touch. 29-18, Williams spins around Anderson in the front court, picks him up, scoop shot, blocked by Harry. And now Harry blocks another one. Bear saves it, but he saves it towards Press Row <laughs> as it was going out of bounds. Harry Frank with a couple of more blocks there. That's about the only statistic we don't have here in front of us. Actually, we do. That should be three blocks all by Harry Frank. Chris West to throw it in. Near side, three-quarters court. West of Dickerson in the corner, guarded by Bear. Backs it out to Williams on the right wing. Cross court to the west. West, free throw line, and now in the paint to Dickerson. His banker's no good, rebound Bear. Bear to Guillory, Guillory front court. Guillory looking for a man inside. Picks up his dribble right wing, into Harry. Harry turns around, he walked. No question about it. He had him jammed up pretty good under the goal. Well, he was double teamed, and Harry... Could not find himself to the basket. 29-18, the Panthers are on top of the Cats in the second. The Bobcats' worst enemy right now is themselves, committing too many turnovers. They've got 11 in the first half. West has the ball bounced off his head. Anderson has it, two on one. Anderson, all the way. Anderson lays it up, and he's fouled, no good. But Chris West was the man who fouled him. He's a quick guy down there, Anderson. He can fly. Well, despite being 5-5, he knows how to draw a foul. He uses his body as a shield against the defender. That way, if he doesn't make it, he still goes to the free throw line. And tonight, he's been to the line three times. Unfortunately, he's only made it once. For West, by the way, that's his third foul. So he might see Pine the rest of the half. Barry Whitley checks in. Whitley, Williams, Dickerson, Byers. And I don't see the fifth man on the court for Woodlawn right now. Free throw is in and out. Charles really struggling. 
His strong suit right now is starting to haunt him. Anderson, Guillory, Bertrand, Abair, and Frank for Yunus. Let's see if he can make the second one. It's up. That one is short. Rebound to Anderson, however. Anderson to Guillory. Yunus will reset to Anderson. They can cut it into single digits. Abair inside to Frank. Frank fakes. Turns around. Lays it up and in. Nice move. Excellent spin move by Harry. It's 29 to 20. Anderson guarding Whitley in the backcourt. Anderson will make Whitley work. He's into the front court. Chest pass over to Williams. Williams guarded by Guillory. Bounce pass to Gaines. Gaines to Whitley. Looking inside. Pass intercepted by Kyrus. Kyrus is going to drive all the way. Kyrus is going to lay it up and in. Kyrus Abair, one of the best athletes you'll ever see, has got four points. Eunice is on a mini run here with 25 to 10 at one point. Eunice has scored 12 of the last 16 points. Whitley into the front court. Over to Brandon Dickerson, guarded by Abair In the corner to Byers. He's not going to shoot it from there. He will dribble out to Williams. 2.55 to go before intermission. Williams guarded by Guillory. Picks it up over to Gaines. Gaines in the lane. Gaines backs it out. 18-footer left wing is short. Rebound tipped out. Williams has it. Williams jumps over Kyrus Abair. Now to Whitley. His long three-pointer is no good. Strong side rebound, Harry Frank. Looking for an outlet man and a foul in the backcourt. That might have been on Byers. That would be his third. It was committed, however, by Brandon Dickerson. And that is his second. 29-22, the catcher, Dominic, making a big run for it right now with 2.40 to go in the first half. Well, that's team foul number 10. And in high school basketball, just as it is in college basketball, once you commit 10 team fouls, you go to the free throw line from here on out. And they've got a number of Woodlawn starters in foul trouble. So the Bobcats can sink their free, free, free throws. Excuse me. Harry Frank misses the first one in and out. He was four out of five from the line before that one. They can sink their free throws. They can inch even closer. Harry looks, shoots. That one is short. Rebound Dickerson. Missing those two hurt momentarily. Let's see if the Bobcats, however, can respond defensively. Whitley into the front court. Over to Williams. Williams to Dickerson. Now to Gaines. Cross court to the Whitley. Picked up by Anderson. Swings it over to Byers. Gaines with a basketball. Now to Byers. Byers cross court to the Whitley. Whitley, 15-foot jumper. Good. 31-22. The path is up with two minutes to go in the half. Whitley with nine points. Guillory behind his back into the front court. Three-pointer up in the air. Inside the basket. Roy Guillory with a trifecta. And I believe there was a foul away from the ball. It was committed by Brennan Bertrand of Eunice, but the basket does count. 31-25, 201 to go. The Bobcats in good shape after starting off very sluggishly. Dickerson guarded by Abair. Over to Whitley. Whitley picked up by Anderson. Gets it over to Gaines. Gaines to Whitley. Anderson's got him. To Williams. Williams, top of the three-point circle, backs it out. He's got it to Byers, now to Whitley. Whitley... Right baseline, swings it over to Gaines. He fakes on Bertrand, in the lane. His pass inside to Byers, and he looked like he traveled, but it was a foul instead on Harry Frank. That's his third, and they'll have to take him out of the ball game for the rest of the half. He's got three, as I just mentioned. Byers into the game, Frank is out. That foul really hurt. The catch it down to the Panthers with a minute and a half to go in the first half. Runner goes off of the title and loses a go home. That free throw by Byers barely made it to the basket. He's 0 out of 3 from the strike. Second free throw by Byers is up in the air. That is good. Byers with three points. Eunice trails by seven. Anderson into the front court to Guillory. Guillory pulls up from three. His shot is in and out. Oh! That was close. Rebound fires. Now to Whitley. Whitley into the front court. A minute 20 to go. Now to Williams. Williams to the basketball. Back out to Whitley. Drives all the way. He scoops it up. He misses. Rebound Brennan. Brennan looking for a guard. He's got it to Myers. Myers into the front court. Two on three. Pulls up from three. That shot is short. 
Hebert tips the ball away out of bounds from the man who got the rebound, Kyle Gaines. 32 to 25, 63 seconds to go before halftime. Eunice's play has improved drastically here in the second, but they haven't got over the hump yet. Whitley will control the basketball. Guarded by Guillory. Right wing over to Gaines. Backs it out to Byers. They might take the last shot of the first. However, the Bobcats cannot get lazy defensively. Whitley with a basketball. We're at the 30-second mark. Bobcats playing rather tightly here on defense. They don't want to allow an easy bucket. Inside pass, Anderson knocks it away. However, retrieved by Woodlawn Dickerson, who misses. Rebound over to Eunice. Anderson front court to Hebert. Hebert, scoop shot is up. No good. Rebound, not good. A bounce by Myers. 13.2 seconds left. Eunice has had a few opportunities to cut this lead down to four or five points, but it failed. Whitley with six seconds, fouled by Anderson. However, that is just team foul number six. Six point nine seconds to go. Thirty-two twenty-five. The Panthers are up. Williams to throw it in. No pressure on the pass to Dickerson. Dickerson drives into the paint. His fadeaway is no good. Tip up by Myers is no good. Now to Myers. Myers ahead to Guillory. He puts up a shot, but way after the buzzer. After two periods of play from the Cajun Dome in Lafayette, Louisiana, your score. Woodlock 32, Eunice 25. You're listening to Bobcat Basketball semifinal playoff action on KJJB Supersports. The bank of the future is here now. Now you can do your banking at your own home. Almost anything you can do at the bank, you can now do on your computer. Any hour of the day, any day of the week. Stop by and speak with one of the courtesy of the courteous staff at American Security Bank. They'll be happy to answer your questions. We want to do banking with you the easy, most convenient way. Computer loans right now at American Security Bank are only 8.5% APR. American Security Bank member FDIC, full housing lender. American Security Bank solutions, not problems. You say your car still looks new, but the knocks and pings in your engine are really getting old. All you need here is a new solution, right? Well, Chevron Supreme High Octane with Tecron is the solution for you and your family in your family car. Your car will perform the way it's supposed to perform when you try the Tecron Supreme gas from your neighborhood tech, uh, Chevron retailer. Chevron, simply smarter and available at your neighborhood Chevron retailer. The express lane on the Crowley Road. Chevron, distributed by Gilroy Oil Company in Thank you, steve whether you're going fishing, camping on a picnic, or a backyard get-together, your one stop for all your supplies should be CJ's Mini Check, 821 North A Street here in Unit. CJ's has it all from beer and soft drinks to charcoal and snacks. And while you're at CJ's, play your favorite lottery games. CJ's Mini Check, 821 North A Street in Unit. Not open five or six days, but seven days a week. When you have your doctor's prescription in hand, be glad that Piku's Drugstore is there in town at 250 North 2nd Street. At Piku's, you get expert service at competitive prices, plus the convenience of delivery service to your home. Your Piku's pharmacist, Cooney and Robbie, stand ready with the knowledge and the skill to fill your doctor's prescription to the letter. Good health to you from Piku's. Halftime score at the Cajun Dome in Lafayette in the state quad A semifinals. Woodlawn 32, the Cats 25. Any surprises in the ball game, John? Not really for the Bobcats. They're performing very much the way they did during the Bo Shane game, really, and really during the Hawk game where they struggled in the first period but came out stronger in the second. They were able to climb the hump in those last two games. However, today, with a couple of opportunities to cut that lead down to four or five points, as I mentioned earlier, they were unable to do it. They've committed 11 turnovers in the first half, and eight of those were in the first period for Woodlawn. They have controlled the basketball very well with just five turnovers. Individual statistics, Roy Guillory from the field is just one out of six. That was a three-pointer. He's got a couple of rebounds, and he's done a very fine job of passing the basketball. He has three assists in the ballgame. Charles Anderson off the bench has struggled from the free throw line. Normally an 83% shooter. He is just one out of five. He's grabbed three rebounds, has committed a couple of fouls in this ballgame. They will need him down the stretch, so he needs to stay out of foul trouble. He is one out of two from the field. He has three points. Derek Myers in the ball game is 0 out of three from the field. 
has four, and has two assists. The other two starters, Tyrus Hebert, actually three starters, Tyrus Hebert, Brendan Bertrand, and Harry Frank. For Tyrus, he has four points in the ball game, three rebounds, and has dished out one assist, two out of three from the field. Brendan Bertrand, two out of five from the field, six points. He is two out of two from the charity strike, and he has a game-high five rebounds. And for Harry Frank, he's got three rebounds. He's been very aggressive inside going to the line. Four out of seven, but has committed three fouls in this ballgame. He has a point. For Woodlawn right now, which holds a seven-point lead, Barry Woodley, four out of six from the field, one out of one from three-point range, four rebounds and assists. He's committed a couple of fouls, and that's what the Bobcats have to do in the second half. Get this Woodlawn team in foul trouble. He scored nine points. Kyle Gaines off the bench, one out of two from the field, a couple of rebounds and assists. He has two points. Kenny Williams is three out of six. He's got a rebound and assist. He's committed a foul. He has six points. Chris West, it shows here that he has committed two fouls in the ballgame. We'll check that. He has three assists, not shooting much. He is just 0 out of 1 from the field. Their leading scorer, Brandon Dickerson, so far has 12 points. They contained him rather well in the last four minutes of the first half. He has 12 points again, and he is 6 out of 12 from the field. And Byers, Tyrone Byers, the center, 1 out of 3 from the field, 1 out of 4 from the line, couple of rebounds and assists. He has committed two fouls and has three points in the ball game. You know, I'm going to think, if I can insert right here, that the big problem facing him aside right now is that big old foul. Harry Frank, who everybody knows is the playmaker for Eunice High School, he has three. He'll have to use him sparingly in the first third quarter. Well, he's been in foul trouble before, and he still maintains his aggressiveness in those games, but he does have to keep his hands off opposing players' bodies because if not, he'll be out of the game. And quite frankly, without Harry Frank, no pun intended, Eunice really has no chance to win this game because he is that inside presence that a lot of other teams lack in the top 28 tournament. And the Bobcats do have the benefit of a 6'8 man in Harry Frank. Right now we have a young man uh, who's going to try and win a car from a local car dealer. He makes a layup. Makes a layup, a foul shot, and from the from the mid-court line, if he makes that, he has an automobile. Which is about 46 and a half feet, approximately. Now yeah, that's a foul shot. Good. He's two out of two. This means the car, he gets one shot from, from the mid-court, mid right? Well, he definitely looks like a shooter, no question about it. Here he is. A lot of these guys are falling short. They're using a green 7-up basketball. That should fly pretty good. Weighs about an ounce. Needs a lot of legs and wrists in this shot. That one is going to be short. Well short. St. Landry Homestead Federal Savings Bank has three locations to better serve you. Opelousas, Units, and Port Barry. They specialize in residential loans with the lowest interest rates in years. St. Landry Homestead Federal Savings Bank also features consumer loans now of all types. St. Landry Fe Homestead Federal Savings Bank of Units, Opelousas, and Port Barry. Remember FDIC and Equal Housing Lender, St. Landry Homestead. We're also sponsored by D.C. Sports Barn Steakhouse, a great atmosphere. And now we're boiling crawfish at D.C. Sports Barn Steakhouse. Come on by any night of the week and have some delicious boiled crawfish. By the way, we're open seven days a week. Ladies, while you're dining for lunch at D.C.'s, you can even enjoy your favorite soap opera with a private TV table. The Sports Barn's big screen TVs for all the big games and fun for everyone. They'll love the pocket pool tables, electronic darts, and championship shuffleboard games, too. D.C. Sports Bar Steakhouse, West Laurel in town, where the crawfish are being boiled right as we speak. I love to ask questions, so let me ask this. What's the best way to heat water and cook in Eunice? I'd say natural gas. Absolutely. The best, the most cost-efficient way to heat and cook in your home is with inexpensive, let's add that word, inexpensive natural gas. It burns clean, and it's by far the most popular way to heat and cook in Eunice homes. For further information, on the advantages of natural gas in your home or business, contact your favorite heating and cooling contractor, Natural Gas and Eunice. It's the natural thing to do. A halftime score of the Panthers of Woodlawn of Baton Rouge, 32, Eunice High, 25. Cats are down at one time by 12 points now. We're only uh, six down, seven down. Actually, it was as much as 15 at 25 to 10. Then Eunice went on a 12 to 4 run. However, Woodlawn was able to reclaim somewhat of a rather sizable margin, but they're in this ball game. And when Eunice gets that energy, which they will have in the second half, perhaps they can wear down this Woodlawn team, who so far has played extremely well. And the Bobcats have yet to find their finest stride. And if they can put it all together, not only will they make a game of it, they could come away with a victory and a final berth, which would be played on Saturday night here at 7 o'clock 
against the winner, by the way, of St. Thomas More and number one ranked Ellender. That's next. They will play next, absolutely. Now, I want to remind our viewers, our listeners, I should say, there'll be no television on this game on replay basis, but you will be able to see some news news shots on John Sports Show tomorrow night at 538 on Channel 11. Now, following the end of the regular season, Ellender was ranked number one in Class 4A, Woodlawn number two, St. Thomas More number four, and Eunice number eight. So according to those polls, the Bobcats have surpassed expectations, at least according to the Louisiana High School Athletic Association writers. It's very smart, 99 smart cents checking, and it's only a tri-parish bank. What do you get by 99 cents a month? Your first 50 duplicate checks, unlimited check writing privileges, no monthly minimum balance requirement. Your canceled checks are held in safekeeping and free tri-parish bank access, 24 usage, and a detailed monthly statement. All this for 99 cents a month. That's right, 99 sports is checking. A tri-parish bank, hometown people that you know, member FDIC. Retirement earnings that are federal income tax free. No, I'm not kidding, folks. This is not a dream, it's reality. With a State Farm Roth individual retirement annuity. See State Farm agent David Robery. He's at 620 West Maple in Eunice for the details on this savings opportunity. With a Roth IRA, you can withdraw your earnings federal income tax free after five years in age, 59 and a half. Let me ask you, what other retirement plan allows you to receive your money tax-free and can guarantee you income for life? For more information on the State Farm Roth IRA, see your good neighbor State Farm agent, David Robery. He is at 620 West Maple Avenue in the Prairie Cajun Capital. Eunice. It's halftime. Panthers leading the Cats. 32-25 for the right to go on for the state title game Saturday night at 7. They say 7 o'clock. Our game is supposed to be at 6.30. We started at 7.30. We'd like to remind you that you're listening to this ball game on FM 105.5 KJJB Eunice. Now the Bobcats will have to hit some of those outside shots in order to take the pressure off of Harry Frank. For example, they are one out of six from three-point range. Half of those put up by Roy Guillory, the other half by Derek Myers, and these two guys have been catalysts throughout the course of the season. A reminder that Swamp and Roll, one of the best shows in all of radio in Acadiana and throughout Louisiana and in the United States for that matter will be seen will be heard and actually if you can picture what Joe and Todd no, are doing no, in the studio no, you, won't see the week. <laughs> you might see something you didn't want to see in the first place but anyway will be heard in its entirety after this ball game so for you Swap and Roll fans don't worry we're not taking it away from you this Wednesday night LSU baseball now in progress on KE1 Super Sports flip it to your AM dial 1490 if that's what you want to hear I wouldn't leave the Unisign basketball game. They're playing for the right to play for the title game Saturday night. And while we have the microphone, the bank of the future is here. Now you can do your banking from your own home. Almost anything you do at the bank, you can now do on your computer any hour of the day or night. Stop by and speak to any of our Curtis, 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 Curtis staff. They'll be happy to answer all your questions for you. We want to do banking with you, make your banking so easy it's unbelievable. Computer loans only 8.5% APR at American Security Bank. American Security Bank member FDIC, solutions, not problems. Now the question is, for this second half, will Harry Frank open for the Bobcats on the floor? He's got three fouls. According to a computer printout here, he's the only man in foul trouble. I have Chris West with three, but saying here that he's got two fouls. Harry will not start the second half. For Eunice Bertrand, Guillory, Bear, Anderson, and Myers on the floor. Now, Brennan was very aggressive in the second period when he scored six points. He'll have to continue doing that. Captain to sharpen their shooting shoes, you might say. They've dulled the Panther attack somewhat. Panthers hitting about 80% for the first five minutes of the game, and the Cats kind of came down the defense and shut them down. Woodlawn will implement the same starters, Williams, West, Whitley, Byers, and Dickerson. Far side, midcourt, Williams to throw it in. And we're underway in the third. Chest pass almost knocked away by Myers, but Dickerson has it to Williams. Williams guarded by Anderson. Picks up his dribble to West at the free throw line. Inside to Byers, fakes, lays it up, too strong. Rebound, Brennan. Brennan a good with, night. Yeah, he's playing very well on both sides of the court to Guillory. Guillory pulls up 15 for the right wing, no good. Rebound high in the air is Brennan Dickerson. Eunice getting some decent looks. They just can't find a hole. Fires all the way. Fires. Five-footer baseline. No good. Rebound. Strong side. Kyrus. Over to Myers. Looking ahead. Now to Brennan. Brennan all the way. He lays it up and in. He scoops it up, actually. 
No need to use the glass for Brennan Bertrand. He's got eight points in the game. And it's now a five-point lead for Woodlawn, 32-27. to 27. This is as close as Eunice has been. Williams, left wing, fakes on Guillory. Swings it out to Whitley, back to Williams. Williams drives. Back out to West in the left corner to Williams. Williams to Whitley. Will he get it back out to Williams? Yes, he will. Williams beyond the three-point circle, dribbles it towards the timeline. Looks like they'll take the air out of the basketball for a short time here while they try to set up for a good shot. Woodley on the right wing, guarded by Abair, Backs it out. Now to Williams. Free throw line west. West, 15-footer. Good. That was a big shot. Chris West. 34-27, the Panthers up now in the third period. That's his first two, driving all the way. Anderson misses, rebound, Brennan, he misses the follow. Kyrus Abair has it. Two offensive rebounds for Eunice there on that series. Let's see if they can convert. Roy Guillory, free throw line, fakes, drives baseline. Roy, up and under to Kyrus, 15-footer right wing. No good, rebound, Roy. Roy lays it up and lays it in. Roy Guillory, three offensive rebounds to Bobcats, proving the stronger of the two teams on the board there. It's a five-point game again. Williams, right side, wide open from 20. Good. No problem there for Kenny Williams. Fires into the front court. 36-29, Woodlawn. 5.50 to go. A Woodlawn player getting ready to check in. Brennan, spin, eight-footer. No good. Rebound and a foul. Kyra Sabair went over the back of Brandon Dickerson for Kyrus. That is foul number one. I want to remind you all the uh, Top 28 tournament is sponsored in part by Gatorade, Bob, the official game ball, and Coca-Cola. Anthony Webb, number 44, a 6'4 senior, seeing his first action for Woodlawn, replaces Chris West. Both teams so far have scored the same amount of points. Four in the third. Williams with the basketball. Williams guarded by Myers. Bounces it at the free throw line to Dickerson. He backs it out. Inside pass to Webb. His layup is no good, but he's fouled by Bertrand. Bertrand with a push. Had a phone call this afternoon before we left from the Blue Jays. Want to wish the very best of the Bobcats in this big game tonight. The Blue Jays say, go Big Green. We're behind you all the way. The kids across town have say that. Anthony Webb to the line. Again, Eunice is right there. They just can't get over that hurdle. Free throw, good. Anthony Webb will try for a deuce here. He spins the basketball. Webb shoots, and he makes it. Eunice trails by nine. 38-29. Backcourt pressure. Dondre Denton with his first action of the game. Anderson now dribbles it into the front court. Gets a pick from Denton. Now gets it over to Denton. Denton left wing, pick from Kyra, still dribbling, picks it up, trapped, cross court to Anderson, he lays it up, and in! Oh, what a great move by Charles Anderson. Anderson really elevated on that one, he's got five, spinning is Whitley, gets around Anderson, backs it out to Dickerson, Dickerson in the lane, Dickerson lays it up and in, a beautiful scoop shot by Brandon Dickerson, his first two of the second half, 14 overall in the game, Kyra's in the back court, to Myers, in the front court to Anderson, Anderson drives into the paint, spins, scoops, misses, Rebound tipped up in the air. Anderson saves it, but he can't save it into a teammate. He's Out of everywhere, bounds. the guy. Probably the quickest player on the court. Eunice faces a fate here that Woodlawn could reclaim a double-digit lead. Webb, top of the three-point circle to Whitley. Whitley inside in a bucket by Williams. He was all alone. Williams got behind a pick. And the lead is now 11. Anderson into the front court. Bounces to Kyrus. It's 42-31. Kyrus inside to Brennan. Passes Aaron. Williams has it on the turnover. If Woodlawn scores here, Eunice will need a timeout. They trail by 11. Dickerson to Whitley. Whitley fakes a three. Into the lane. 10-foot leaner. No good. Long rebound to Whitley. Whitley in the right corner. Whitley will back it out. Pass almost knocked away by Myers, but Williams has it. Williams, now to Gaines. Cross court to the Williams. Williams top of the three-point circle. He'll set up. 3.45 to go in the third. Eunice trails 42-31. Webb with a basketball to Dickerson. 
Dickerson. It was fouled by Brennan Bertrand, who made contact with him. That's his third. And now both centers are in trouble. 42-31, the Panthers are up on the third. Roy Guillory checks into the game. He replaces Derek Myers. Eunice today freezing from the field, 11 out of 29. Williams in the left corner to Whitley, guarded by Anderson. Dribbles around him, picks up his dribble, lobs it over to Williams. Williams towards the top of the three-point circle. Now to Dickerson. His 12-footer in the lane is deep. Rebound, Denton knocked out of bounds. It will be retained. No, it will go over to Eunice. Awful Woodlawn player. Guillory, long baseball pass to Anderson ahead of the field. Anderson all the way. He fakes. He lays it up. And a foul. Foul by number 10, Barry Woodley. Woodley thought he got all ball, but to no avail. That is foul number three. Harry's going back in the game. Harry Craig. And they need him badly right now. 42-31. If the Bobcats don't put together a run, they'll be back home. And they won't see the Cajun Dome on Saturday. Anderson at the line. Free throw is good. Charles trying to find the stroke from the charity stripe. He's now two out of six. He's got six points. He's got seven points. 42-33. Eunice trails and Whitley with a ball in the backcourt at the 315 mark. Now dribbles it into the front. Lobs a pass over to Williams. Williams guarded by Guillory. A bounce pass to Whitley. Back to Williams. Williams to Whitley. Back to Williams. In the corner, bounce pass to Webb. Inside to Dickerson. A runner, no good. Rebound Bertrand. Dickerson wanted the foul. Guillory with a basketball. Guillory with a four-on-four -four situation. Into the paint. He lays it up, no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds by Anderson. A little five-foot leaner in the lane, actually, by Roy Guillory. Had excellent body control. He just couldn't find the basket. 42-33. The score stays that way. Williams in the corner to Webb. Webb back out to Williams. Kenny Williams with the basketball. He's a six-foot senior guard. To Whitley. Free throw line. Dickerson fakes. Plays it up with the left hand and in. Excellent move by Brandon Dickerson. He's got 16. And it's an 11-point lead again for Woodlawn. Eunice needs some fire. They need a run here. That's what they've been able to do in the playoffs. But today they can't find a run. They had a 12-4 run in the second, but that's been it. Anderson inside to Harry. Harry dribbles, turns around, scoops it up, and he's fouled. Two men were there. The foul was committed by number 44, Anthony Webb. That's his first. Catch down by 11 with 2-11 to go in the third period. Here at the Dome and Lafayette. Still plenty of time for Eunice. Harry's free throw is good. Harry is playing string music from the line. Tyrus Abair replaces Brennan Bertrand. Bertrand leaves with eight points. The lead is ten for Woodlawn. Make it nine as Harry hits free throw number two. He's got ten points. In the backcourt is Dickerson. Swings it over to Williams. Woodlawn will set up shop. Free throw line Dickerson. 15 footer tip by Harry. Rebound will be taken by Whitley, however. Dribbling in between his legs, guarded by Guillory. Boy, this guy could really handle the basketball. Crossover dribble between the legs. And now, a five second call. Five second call against Barry Whitley. The turnover will give the ball over to the Bobcats. Frank with a basketball in the backcourt to Guillory. He dribbles into the front court. Guillory free throw line. Guillory almost walking his foot a foot over to Frank. To Anderson inside of Frank. Double team. Turns around. Lays it up. No good. Harry had it right there. Rebound. Dondre. He's blocked for the foul. That foul looked like it was committed by Anthony Webb. That's his second. Catch down by nine with a minute and a half to go in the third period. And getting more aggressive out there. That missed three-foot turnaround by Harry Frank has been the story tonight for Eunice. They've had some decent looks. They haven't been able to convert. Dondre Denton at the line. Banks it off the glass and in. He didn't call that, but the Bobcats will take it. Catch down by eight. 
A minute 34 to go, second free throw up in the air. That one almost made it. glass. He just made it. Eunice unable to cut into this seven-point lead at halftime. 44-37. Dickerson picks up his dribble. Now to Williams in the front court. Williams with Whitley in the backcourt, bounces it over to him. Free throw line, Dickerson. Dickerson fakes, six foot over here, he's good. Dickerson with 18. Anderson, chest pass to Kyrus. Loves the full court game. He'll drive all the way, and a defensive foul, a blocking foul on Brandon Dickerson on the floor before the shot. So the Bobcats will take it out of bounds. For Dickerson, that's his third. Let's see if they work on him. That's getting much more aggressive on defense, especially under the goal there, the uh, opponent's goal. Hebert with a basketball, looking inside, he's got it to Harry. Harry in the paint, turns around, strips, gets it back, lays it up and in. Easy bucket for Harry Frank. Harry Frank tonight's got 12. Dickerson, over to Gaines to Williams. Williams guarded by Guillory. Dribbles against him, under a minute to go. To Whitley to Williams. Williams in the corner to Webb. His 15-footer's up, short. Rebound, Harvard to Dickerson. He lays it up short. Rebound, tipped around. Gaines has got it stripped by Anderson. Anderson dribbles into the front court. Three on two. Anderson to Hebert. Lays it up and in. Tyrus Hebert off the feed. He's got six. The lead is down to five. It's 46-41. 25 seconds to go in the third of the Bobcats now. Applying some defensive pressure. Dickerson with a basketball. Dickerson to Williams, left wing. Dickerson, take up by Guillory. Now the ball is over to Whitley. We are at 11 seconds. Williams, now to Webb. Webb over to Dickerson. Dickerson in the corner to Gaines. His three-pointer is up and he's fouled. Fouled by Harry Frank with 3.3 seconds to go. And remember that play call. Fourth foul by Harry Frank on a three-pointer. No need for that. And perhaps that will haunt the Bobcats for the rest of the game. Are they calling that flagrant? We'll find out. No, no flagrant foul. 46-41 to catch it down. A couple of shots coming up for the Panther. Boy, does that hurt. I mean, your fourth foul on a three-pointer. Three free throws by Kyle Gaines. The first one is up and in. And that shot was off the mark, too. Cats want timeout. 46-41, the Panthers leading. We'll be right back. You see, your, your car still looks good, but it knocks and tinks, and the engine are getting old. All you need is a solution, and that solution is Tecron. That's right. High-octane, supreme high-octane gas with Tecron from your neighborhood golf retailer. The Express Lane on the Crowley Road. Chevron distributed by Gilroy Oil Company of Eunice. Good people to know. For farm or for home. Chevron. Just simply the best. Okay, they are calling it a flagrant foul now. So two more free throws for Gaines. His second one is in. Bobcats don't like that at all. The lead is seven. The lead is eight. He makes all three. And a technical foul against Woodlawn. They had a sixth player on the court. So two free throws for Charles Anderson. Let's see if he can get these back. So maybe it wasn't a flagrant foul. The Bobcats will have the basketball. Free throw is good. It was not a flagrant foul. We didn't hear that technical until a couple of seconds ago. Let's see if Charles can convert again. Free throw is up. That is off to the right. Let's get the foot the football. Hello, Carl. Get the basketball. We're down by seven. Same score at halftime. Not same score, same margin of deficit. Roy Guillory, long three-pointer, deep. Rebound to Byers, and that's the end of the period. After three periods of play, Eunice trails 49-42 on KJJB Supersport. Whether you're going fishing, camping, or on a picnic, the place to stop for all your supplies is CJ's Mini Check 821 North 8th Street, right here in town. CJ's has it all, from beer and soft drink to charcoal and snacks. And while you're there, hey, buy your lottery ticket. It could be a lucky day. CJ's Mini Check, really big bobcat bikers. CJ's Mini Check, 821 North 8th Street, right here in Eunice. Okay, so now this lottery takes a chance to write in should get you. 
Uh, and a wrong answer, you choose. Liar. You work for a car dealer who competes with Cajun Country Auto Parks? Yes, I do. Fine, and you sell quality O's, GMC, Pontiac, Chrysler, Dodge, Plymouth, Jeep, for less, just like Cajun Country Auto Plex? That's right. Liar. Uh, uh, maybe try to. Liar, liar. Like Cajun Country Auto Plex, you have a great selection of over 75 vehicles in stock? We do. Liar. Uh, I, I mean, sometimes we do. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Cajun Country Auto Plex, 1700 East Laurel Avenue on Highway 190 in Eunice. When you have your doctor's prescription in hand, be glad that Piku's Drugstore is here in town at 250 North 2nd Street. At Piku's, you get expert service at competitive prices, plus the convenience of delivery service to your home. Your Piku's pharmacist, Cooney and Robbie, stand ready with the knowledge and the skill to fill your doctor's prescription to the letter. Hey, good health to you from Piku's. The LHSAA would like to thank First Commerce Corporation of Family Banks, Sports Care of Louisiana, Reebok, the official shoe of the LHSAA, and take the other top 28 basketball tournament. Thank you, guys. This is it for the Bobcats. If they don't outscore Woodlawn by at least seven points here to force overtime, they will go home. Trailing 49-42. Guillory to throw it into Anderson in the backcourt. They have to play their best eight minutes of the season here. Anderson gets a pick from Myers. In the corner to Dondre. Drives baseline. Plays it up and he's blocked with a foul. That foul was committed by Tyrone Byers. And for Byers, that is foul number three. 49-42, catch it down by seven with 7.50 to go in the ball game. Spinning the basketball is Denton, his free throw. It's off the back of the rim. Denton's second one is up. That is short. Rebound, tipped around. It looked like Anderson was fouled, but no call. Woodlawn with a basketball. Whitley into the front court, guarded by Myers, picks up his dribble. Over to Williams. Williams back out to Whitley. Whitley free throw line, Dickerson. Dickerson back out to Whitley. Look for them to take some air out of the basketball right now. Williams in the lane. Pass intercepted by Guillory. Guillory has Anderson ahead of the field. Throws it over to Myers. Myers in the right corner. Won't put up the three. Pass inside to Anderson. He lays it up, no good. Rebound tipped around. And a foul on the backcourt. Whitley had the basketball. Looked like Kyra Sabair got him. And he did. We'd like to thank Lynn of the... Up, up his dribble. To Kyra's at the free throw line. Kyra fakes, puts a move on his man, is stripped. Ball is loose on the floor. Tied up. Dickerson takes it away. Ahead to Williams. Williams driving all the way. Lays it up and in. It's a 14-point lead, and the Bobcats in big trouble now. Trailing 53-42. to 42. Roy Guillory at the free throw line. Over to Hebert. Hebert fakes. Up and under move. Eight-footer, no good. Rebound, Dickerson. Dickerson into the front court. The second-ranked team in the state right now is controlling this basketball game. Leading by 11. Woodley picked up by Anderson. Anderson swings it over to Williams. Williams to Dickerson at the free throw line. Bounce pass to Gaines. Gaines in the lane. Puts it up. Blocked by Denton. Excellent block by Dondre. Here's Anderson out of the pack. Anderson all the way. Stripped by Whitley, but a foul. The question is, was he going up for two? Will they put him at the line? Yes, they will. Harry Frank going back in the ball game. We're down by 11 points. 53 42. And even six minutes to go in the ball game for Eunice. Guillory, Myers, Anderson, Denton, and Frank, a three-guard offense. Byers, Whitley, Williams, Dickerson, and the fifth man out there. Trying to spot him right now. Looks like Gaines as Anderson hits the first free throw. Let's say hello to Robert Lee Huck Cole right now. Second free throw is in. Anderson with 10. The Woodlawn lead is nine. Gains into the front court. Over to Dickerson. Pressured by Myers and Denton. Jump pass over to Whitley. Now to Williams. Williams left wing. Of course they're going to try to get inside and force Harry to commit his fifth foul. Gain in the lane. Gain. Over to Dickerson. Dickerson to Whitley. Whitley. Chased by Myers. He can't get to him. Williams in the corner to Whitley. Now to Byers. He lays it up reverse. No good. Rebound. Dickerson lays it up and in. Dickerson with 20. 
Myers drives all the way, pulls up. He passes inside to Harry. He slams. Harry jams it home. Harry with 14, but Eunice still trailed by nine with 5.10 to go. In the backboard is Whitley. And now a whistle and a timeout. Timeout Panthers. The score with 5.12 to go. Woodlawn 55, Eunice 46. This is KJJB Supersport. Hey, Landry, Homestead Federal Savings Bank has three locations to better serve you. Opelousa, Eunice, and Fort Berry. They specialize in residential loans with the lowest interest rates in years. St. Landry Homestead Federal Savings Bank also now features consumer loans. St. Landry Homestead Federal Savings Bank, Eunice, Port Berry, Opelousas, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. DC Sports Barn Steakhouse is a great atmosphere for the entire family. Open seven days a week, the steakhouse serves lunch and dinner with a full menu. Specializing in steaks and seafood, and the banquet room is available for private parties at special occasion places. While you're dining for lunch, you can even enjoy your favorite shows with a private TV table. The sports bar has big screen TVs for viewing your favorite sporting events. DT Sports Bar and Steakhouse. Plus, Laurel and Eunice visit them very soon. They're boiling crawfish right now. It makes me excited. Ooh, what's the best way to heat water and cook in your home? To heat your home, the best way in Eunice, the most cost and efficient way, is natural gas. Natural gas in Eunice, contact your favorite heating and cooling contractor for the full story. Natural gas in Eunice, it's the natural thing to do. Woodlawn will have the basketball far side midcourt. The biggest lead of this ball game has been 15 points at 25 to 10 in the second period for Woodlawn. Eunice has been able to reduce that lead to five on a couple of occasions, but no more. Kenny Williams will be the trigger man for Woodlawn. He's got the basketball after a pass to Dickerson, now to Whitley. Whitley guarded by Anderson. Whitley on a five-second count, still dribbling the ball around out to Dickerson. Dickerson picking up his dribble over to Whitley. Whitley is pestered by Anderson. In the corner to Byers. Byers will dribble it out. Under five minutes to go. Now to Whitley. The slow-down game being implemented here by Woodlawn. Dickerson picks up his dribble on a five-second count. He's got it to Whitley. It appears Eunice is going to have to foul in these situations. Dickerson all the way. Looked like he walked it. He did, but no call. He laid it up and in, and it, he's got 22. It's an 11-point game. Anderson inside to Harry. Harry fakes, spins, lays it up. He's fouled. Little turnaround. And he is fouled by Tyrone Byers, and for Byers, that is foul number four. Fifty-seven, forty-six. the Panthers are on top of the Cats in the final stanza, 422 to go in the ball game. Harry tonight has 14 points. That free throws off to the left. Yes, noticeably a disgusted look in his face, he's not happy with himself. Harry, six out of 10 for the free throw line. Harry again, he shoots, he misses, off to the left again, rebound tipped around and Gaines has got it for Woodlawn, Myers in the front court, stood by Myers from behind, Myers chases it down in the corner, Myers now will dribble it into the front court, Myers backs it out, cross courting it to Roy, wide open for three, his shot is up and short, rebound in the corner, Harry Frank cannot save it, it lands on the baseline. 406 to go in the game, we're down by 11, 57-46. Little dry and run right there. Eunice is clearly frustrated at this point. It was 46 to 41, but an 11 to 5 run since then by Woodlawn. Dickerson passed the timeline over to Byers. Byers looking for Williams, hands it off to Whitley. Whitley pestered by Anderson, now to Dickerson. Running a weave type of offense now. Plenty of movement by Woodlawn. Gains free throw line. He'll back it out. And he's fouled by Anderson. Charles Anderson commits foul number three. Eunice has done something tonight that they've done throughout the playoffs, and that's get to the free throw line. 30 free throw attempts, but it made just 17. Woodlawn is six out of nine. 13 misses, that's a big difference. Driving all the way and getting fouled is number 10, Barry Whitley. He was fouled by Dondre Denton. And he will shoot free throws. Other sponsors of the 1998 Top 28 tournament here at the Cajun Dome are Sports Camp Louisiana, Reebok, the Fisher Shoe, Piccadilly Cafeterias, and Moose Mesh Photography. Thank you, guys. 
Barry Whitley on the season averaging 11 points a game. He's got nine now with two free throws equal, equal his average. First free throws up in the air, and that is in and out. Barry Whitley, he'll be back on this ball club next year. Just a junior. He can give Woodlawn a 12-point lead with 3.34 to go, and he does. Time's off the court. It's very smart. 99 smart cents checking, and it's only a tri peerage bank. What do you get for 99 cents a month? Your first 50 duplicate checks, unlimited check writing privileges, no monthly minimum balance requirement. The cancel checks are held in safekeeping. Free tri parish bank access, 24 usage, and a detailed monthly statement. All this for 99 cents a month. That's right. 99 smart cents checking at tri parish bank. All top people that you know, member FDIC. Retirement earnings that are federal income tax free? No, this isn't a dream, it's reality with a State Farm Roth individual retirement annuity. See State Farm agent David Robery at 620 West Maple for the details on this savings opportunity. With a Roth IRA, you can withdraw your earnings federal income tax free after five years and age 59 and a half. Now, what other retirement plan allows you to receive your money tax free and can guarantee you income for life? Hey. For more information on the State Farm Roth IRA, see your good neighbor, State Farm agent David Robery. He's at 620 West Maple Avenue in Eunice. Hello, Brother Dave. Hey. Time is being called. Number three and a half to go in the ball game. We're down by 12. 58-46. It ain't too late yet, but the Cats will have to do some daring do out there. Take some to shoot more. And just get gone by aggressive on defense. Well, Eunice has been a team averaging about 70 points or more. A little bit over 70 points in the last five, six games, and tonight are simply not doing it on the offensive end. Inside to Harry, bounce pass off the foot of Kenny Williams. Tyrus didn't want the ball. He wanted Harry to go strong to the basket. Eunice will retain possession. 58-46, 325 to go in the ball game, and perhaps the Eunice season. Gilloy to throw it in. Gilloy looking inside out to Myers in the left corner. Long three-pointers up in the air, no good. Rebound, Dickerson chases it down. Dickerson, long pass to Gaines. Gaines three on one, over to Byers. Byers is fouled. Fouled on the floor by Kyra Sabair. That's foul number three. Stay tuned for the Swamp and Rose show directly following this, this kick up here. They'll be ready to play Joe's waiting right now, and Ty will be there shortly, so. Oh, they're all they're both there right now, that's right. In a way of speaking. Yeah. Tyrone Byers at the line. He's got three points tonight. He's 0 out of 4, however, from the charity stripe. Make it 1 out of 5 as he hits. Eunice down by 13. And Brennan Bertrand is into the game. Kyra Sabair not too happy about being taken out of it. Byers again. Up again. Good again. Byers with five. 60 to 46. Anderson to Guillory. They need points quickly. Long three-pointers up and deep. That's what they need to do. This they is all she wrote, however. This is all she wrote. The Bobcats not playing their best basketball. Williams into the front court, under three to go. Eunice has had a tremendous season, and unfortunately, it will end today in the Cajun Dome. Kyle Gaines to Whitley. Whitley guarded by Anderson. He'll back it out. Now to Williams. Eunice trail by seven after three. The same margin they trail by at halftime. Now trail by 14. Whitley over to Williams. They're going to force Eunice to foul undoubtedly. We're down to 220. Free throw line Williams. Williams drilling the ball around. Out of Dickerson, back to Williams. Williams over to Whitley. Excellent ball movement. This is a sign of a championship team. They'll have their work cut out for him Saturday night, probably against Ellender or St. Thomas Moore. And Whitley fouled by Myers. Into the ball game is Jerry Orbo. This will be his last game. He's a senior. 60-46, catch her down with two minutes to go in the contest. It ain't impossible. We'll take some kind of extra super effort to do this. There's Steve Pelican across the way. Coach John Burst of the U.S. News across the way. 
Eunice has scored only four points here in the first five minutes and 58 seconds of the fourth. Well, say hello to Barry Spears also, who's ill, could not make it tonight. B, take care of yourself, buddy. The free throw by Whitley is good. Whitley with 11. Their biggest lead is now 15. Will it be 16? Yes, it will. This is actually a closer game than it's going to turn out to be. Anderson front court. Dribbles, drives, lays it in. Charles Anderson off the feet from Derek Myers. He's been consistent all year. He's got 12. 62-48. Eunice not giving up. Orville pressuring Dickerson in the backcourt. Jump pass to Whitley. Whitley drives into the lane. Now backs it out to Dickerson over to Williams. Williams is stopped by Bertrand. For Brennan, that's foul number four. 140 to go in the ballgame. We're down 62-48. Looks like it'll be the winner of St. Thomas Moore and Ellen Doe going against the Woodlawn Panthers. The Panthers have a good basketball team. They're very well disciplined and they, they know what to do. Well, congratulations to this Eunice Bobcat team. The senior class, probably the best ever at Eunice High, considering that they reached the championship game in football and now the semifinals in basketball as Kenny Williams sinks the first free throw. Two trips to two domes in two months. Ain't too shabby, pal. Nobody's done it here in the state of Louisiana in 1998. Only the Bobcats. Actually, the 97-98 school year. Harry Frank is out. Free throw is good. There was a few times that the Cats made a run on Woodlawn. They never lost their cool. They just played methodical basketball. Anderson puts it up and in. Little 10-footer from the right wing, and Charles Anderson now has 14. Whitley into the front court. Whitley backs it out. 64 to 50, Woodlawn a minute 20 to go. Picks up his dribble over to Gaines. Gaines is going to drive, back it out to Williams. Williams jump pass to Dickerson. Dickerson looking for a man. He's got it to Williams. Williams dribbles, passes it over to Whitley. Whitley foul from behind by Orbo. That's Jerry's first. 107 to go in this ball game. Capping a great year for Eunice High School. Number two in state quality football. They'll be at a minimum of number, number three or four in basketball. Have you look at it? Well, I'm just sorry that this is your first live game of the year and the Bobcats couldn't play up the you, park. You never invited me. <laughs> a minute seven to go in the Bobcat season. Free throw is up and is good by Barry Whitley, who's got 13 on the night. Studio producers Joe Burge and Brian Burge, the father and son team from show business. Well, thank Commissioner Tommy Henry and Mitch Small, marketing director of the LHSAA, for their assistance and allowing us to be here this evening. Only charge is $175. Thank you very much. Next free throw is no good, and Myers into the front court. And a timeout called by head coach Robert Trent. 65 to 50. We'll keep it right here. With the Bobcats trailing by 15 points. Just too bad that the Cats have to have a down game on the big night of the year. But that, that, that's the name of the game. It's sport. That's why it's a game. You never know who's going to win or lose. Cats have sure played a better game in their, 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 this year, right? Oh, absolutely. They've been consistent the entire season. You don't go 23-2 and two with this lineup and not play well throughout the course of the season. But tonight, competition. the difference is shooting percentage. Eunice didn't take care of the basketball in the first period, but since period number one, officially have committed only five turnovers. Woodlawn has committed nine for the entire game. But Eunice, for instance, in their last game, shot 55% for the field against Auden. Auden only shot 35%. Tonight, Woodlawn is 25 out of 51, just under 50%. The Bobcats are 16 out of 42, which is about 35, 36%. With that percentage size differential, it's not going to get it done. Our trip was made more exciting on our way over this afternoon as we had a flat tire on the Crowley Highway. That was fun. Now. That was an exciting incident. This is a great maneuver by head coach Robert Trent, getting some reserves into the game to see some action in the Cajun Dome. Eric Thomas is in. Jeremiah Moore. A bear into the lane with a runner, no good. Knocked out of bounds by Chris West, who really didn't see a lot of action in the second half. Bobcats retaining possession. Chip Malvo was in there. 52.6 seconds to go. Malvo to throw it in to Thomas. Thomas to Kyrus. 18-footer straight away, good. Nice. 
Dickerson in the backcourt, 65 to 52, Eunice trails. Jeremiah Moore guarding Dickerson. Now the ball thrown over to number 14, Lester Brooks of Woodlawn, just checking into the game. Now to Dickerson. Dickerson picks up his dribble, jump pass to West. 23 seconds to go. If the Bobcats don't foul, Woodlawn will dribble out the clock. Units giving it their all here. Brooks drives, stripped by Abair. However, laying it up off the loose ball is Brandon Dickerson. That's the story of the night. He's got 24. Now a steal on the backcourt. 67-52. Three seconds, two seconds, and that is the game. The long three-pointer is no good by Barry Whitley just before the buzzer. Your final score tonight, Eunice loses to Woodlawn 67-52. to 